Welcome, Lucy, and thank you for joining us today at the Bioelectric Installation at Ascombe Bryan College. We're here to discuss the exciting potential of small-scale anaerobic digestion, or AD, and the opportunity it offers to farmers, the supply chain, and UK government. Great, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I think it's a really exciting topic at the moment. Uh, it's a topic that has been fairly quiet over the last decade. But I think in the last 12 months, we've certainly seen a resurgence of interest and activity. So um, the alignment of small scale AD with kind of agricultural interests in the energy system is great at the moment. Let's start with the farmers. Can you tell us how small scale AD presents opportunities for individual farmers? Yeah, I think small scale AD um, in particular on farms is a real opportunity at kind of site level, local level and national level. But focusing on, on kind of opportunities for farmers, waste that's generated on farm to extract energy from. So take out the energy in the form of biogas, use that biogas for electricity or heat production or even upgrade it to vehicle fuel um, and use it as biomethane in tractors. Um, so all of that provides kind of resilience and um, energy security to the farm and they're also getting a digestate an organic fertilizer at the back end of the system so they're not losing anything from the waste they're not losing the nutrients they're retained in the digestate and can be used on farm um, to in the same way that the slurry and manure would in an enhanced state a better quality that sounds very efficient and how does this translate into economic benefits? I think looking at the economics, um, the best way to look at it from a farm perspective is farmers are really facing a lot of volatility in terms of fuel, energy, fertilizer prices at the moment. And by having a small scale AD plant on farm, they would be generating their own electricity, generating their own heat. So they're not buying in electricity. They're not buying in fossil fuel to generate heat. They are reducing the need to buy in fossil fertilizer or synthetic fertilizer. Um, so they are kind of protecting themselves from this market volatility. Um, but at the same time, if they're producing excess electricity, they could pot potentially be selling that, generating a revenue as well. So lots of kind of economic opportunities there. Let's talk about the supply chain. What role does small scale AD play there? Again, I think there's huge opportunities in the, in the wider supply chain. So um, at, at farm level, there are clearly kind of the energy and fertilizer benefits. But if you look beyond that, um, farm scale AD just really improves kind of sustainability on farm. So improving soil health, um, soil carbon benefits. So helping with decarbonization, which is a really hot topic at the moment, both within government, within the supply chain and at, at kind of in agriculture. And I think looking at the benefits of farm scale AD further down the supply chain, you've got milk processors, for example, who are interested in decarbonizing the supply chain. Um, they can potentially reduce their scope three emissions. So those emissions that are not directly associated with their activities, um, but, but happening further down the supply chain, um, those can be reduced by incorporating AD at farm level. Um, you're reducing transport emissions associated with transporting waste around or um, transporting fertilizer around, producing fertilizer, a lot of kind of indirect benefits and a lot of wider benefits beyond just that energy um, contribution. So AD has the potential to make agriculture more resilient and more sustainable. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I think resilience is key at the moment. So um, building resilience into farm businesses is something that's really important. Um, we're all aware of regenerative agriculture and the, the kind of um, priorities and principles around that. So um, improving soil health, soil quality, reducing emissions from farming, um, improving environmental conditions from the agricultural sector. Um, small scale AD can really help with all of that. Moving on to the role of government, what would you say are the biggest opportunities for government involvement with small scale AD? I think there are, there are kind of three things that government really need to do. Um, so firstly, they need to kind of recognise the benefits that, aid, that farm scale AD can deliver. So, um, yeah, kind of recognising it's not just about the energy. It's also about kind of the, the wider benefits, the fertiliser production, the nutrient management, soil air quality improvements, 
there are so many benefits that AD brings. I think government needs to recognise them. Then they need to value them. So look at what's the value at site level, at local level and at national level in terms of decarbonisation, in terms of renewable energy contribution, in terms of kind of benefits to agriculture, and then start to kind of reward or kind of incentivise those benefits as well. And what sort of policies would be most effective? I think policies need to, to really work for small scale AD. Policies need to be more flexible, more inclusive. Um, I think they need to recognise the kind of multitude of inputs and the different outputs that AD can deliver and also start to recognise the wider system benefits as well. So look beyond energy to kind of the impacts, the benefits to agriculture and the, the production systems. Looking at the kind of policy goals in energy, waste management, agriculture again, um, I think there is a lot of potential there to, to kind of look beyond energy and offer a policy or, or kind of supportive um, mechanism that really recognises those. And I think um, something that um, allows a better kind of um, conveyance of information, education, training, access to kind of sensible information or appropriate information for farmers that isn't overburdensome, as is the case currently. A lot of AD has been, a lot of regulation and policy has been developed for large scale AD, and it's not that sensible for small scale. Thank you, Lucy. You've painted an inspiring picture of the opportunities that small scale AD offers to farmers, the supply chain and the broader economy. Any final thoughts? I think really just to say that it's it's potentially a really transformative technology. It's here, it's now. That opportunity is genuine. It's happening. Um, there are there are real benefits um, across the the whole supply chain, across different policy areas, and across different sectors. So I think yeah, small scale AD has the real potential to be um, impactful in the energy system, in agriculture, and the wider circular economy.